We're going to have a good time. Hi guys, Todd here. Uh, today we're going to be looking at an electronic cigarette that has a bit of a, a unique selling point in that it comes with filters much the same as you get on a cigarette. So it is aimed at people that are maybe smoking just now and are looking at a way to come off the cigarettes and get into vaping instead. So this video will be aimed pretty much at them and not so much at existing vapors or maybe my my usual subscriber base. Uh, so it is going to be a two mil capacity pod that goes inside this electronic cigarette and it's going to look something a little bit like this. But I'll go into more detail when we do some close-ups. In fact, I think we'll just do that right now. Now, as far as I know, these are all the colours that the, the EQ filter or FLTR is going to come in and you can see the actual length of the device there just now. When you get your device, it's going to come in a box, something like this. It's a cardboard box. All the, the packaging that the Enic can use, it is recyclable. You will also see in the back that it comes with everything that the box contains. If you want to check the authenticity of your device, you have a QR code there as well and uh, a little hologram sticker. Open the box up and you'll be presented with a, a very, very basic quick start guide for your device and one electronic cigarette. You'll also find a, a more detailed user manual in the bottom of the box, a warranty and safety guide, a spare coil, uh, this is a 1.2 ohm scepter coil, so the pod comes with one inside and this is a spare. A USB charging cable, because you will need to charge this device, it comes with a 400 milliamp hour internal battery. And uh, you may, or depending how you vape, you will probably have to charge this at least once a day. You will find a drip tip. This is something that goes inside the top of the device and you put your mouth around this and inhale. You can see here that it has a very, very narrow bore inside there. Uh, and that means that it's going to feel more like a cigarette when you take a draw on it. And that unique selling point that I was talking about, these are the, the filters that are going to come with this device. So you'll get the filters, which you can buy. You can buy these by themselves. And they come with this little plastic insert that you just pop in the bottom of there, push it in, and it just keeps it together. And it means that the vapor is going to be channeled up through this piece here and out there. Now the device itself is, uh, you can see here that we have EQ filter or FLTR on here. We have an indicator light. When you're taking a draw, this will come on. Uh, it also comes on when you're charging and when the device is fully charged, this light will go out. I will also point out that when the charge in here goes below 5%, this will flash 10 times to let you know that you're almost out. The body itself is made from aluminium and comes with this, uh, we've got a little viewing window here so you can see your pod through there and if we pull this, we've just got a top cap, it's just so it can protect your drip tip or your filter that goes in here and you just pop it on at any time and it keeps the, the dust and the dirt out of here, you know sometimes if you've thrown this in a bag or a pocket you can get bits and pieces down there, the cap stops that happening and it's held on quite well. I did notice that it does have a cut out here. Uh, I think, you know, if you have a strap, you could put it through here. It doesn't actually come with a strap. You can see that you have your USB port on the side here. And going back up the top, we have our pod. If you want to take your pod out, then you just push in, push down like this, twist anti-clockwise, and then it'll pull out like that. Just want to point out that uh, your connections are here, you can see here, uh, we have some gold plated connectors on here and they make contact with connectors down in the bottom. Uh, periodically, it's important that you get say a cotton bud, uh, there's two gold connectors down there and you clean them out. If you see any condensation in here, then please make sure you keep it nice and dry. Now, when you get your e-liquid, and I would recommend that you use a 50-50 or a thinner liquid for this tank, uh, so your your VG and your PG, obviously VG is thick, PG is thin, so a 50-50 ratio uh, works really well in here. Uh, but you just stick your nail underneath there, pull it back and you can fill your tank up with juice, no problem at all. Obviously you can use tobaccos, whatever flavour you like, but I'm going to use some, yes, this is a, a dessert flavour and just pop my nozzle in there and then just fill it up. Now when you fill your pod up for the very very first time 
it is important that you leave it um, because inside each pod uh, you have your coil and your coil is made up of uh, cotton and you have to let that liquid penetrate into that cotton before you take your first draw. If you don't, then the heating element will burn that cotton and it will just taste terrible. I've gone back to uh, another one here. If, if you want to change your coil, uh, because you will have to do that periodically over time, never let your tank run dry. I mean, it holds two milliliters of juice uh, and I tend to find if the juice level gets below the the bottom of the rubber bu rubber bu the words if it gets below the bottom of that rubber bung there then fill it back up with juice again if you run it dry and the cotton gets dry it burns out but to change it you have to make sure that your tank is completely empty of juice and then just you can see you've got a little catch here if I push down and twist pull that I can get into my coil and you get one spare with this and I can just unscrew that screw a new one back in and remember when you put a new one back in you're going to have to prime it once again so fill it full of juice leave it for another five minutes before you use it now with normal tanks uh, that's what i'm calling i will call it a pod uh, you know you have what we call a 510 drip tip or a drip tip that's something like this and it just goes in the top and it's just something too Put your mouth around so you can take a draw and this is what most electronic cigarettes have is this kind of thing here however Enikin are trying out this new thing uh, and I forgot where I put the one that I set up remember we put the little rubber bung in there so I can now push that in there and now this is going to feel like you are smoking a cigarette but you're going to be vaping on an electronic cigarette so I'll take my setup and then I'm just going to push this down you can see here that I can just, it doesn't matter how I put it in, I put it in like this, spin it round, it drops down, push and twist clockwise and that's it locked in place. It's ready to go or you can just do this and just, uh, yeah, stick it back in your pocket for just now. Uh, obviously with these things, try and keep them sitting upright, you can leave them lying on its side, it's not an issue. But if I want to go for a vape, just pull the top cap off take a draw that's it now everything else i'm going to cover back up top so the Inican eq fltr filter uh pop the top cap off uh, once again uh, there is room for a lanyard to go through there if that's your thing but uh, there we go that's it uh and right now i've got my tank in there i have primed my coil uh, remember the coil that goes inside the little pod it's made up of a heating element that is wrapped with cotton you have to make sure that that cotton is soaked before you activate it for the first time if you don't do that then it'll taste really really bad but uh, here we go just draw And that's me. That's all there is to it. Now, once again, remember there is two milliliter capacity inside this thing. And you do have a viewing window here. You can see the level or what I tend to do is just turn it upside down and I can see how much I've got. Um, I would say, you know, if you turn it upside down, you can see how much juice. If you're starting to see that it's getting empty, when you turn it upside down, fill it again. You do not want your cotton inside that coil to get dry at all so just keep on top of the liquid level and, and it'll work great uh, if you burn out that cotton then you're going to be changing coils more frequently uh, power output on this thing may not to some people they do like to know this stuff but this is like 9 10 watts of power going through this it's a 1.2 ohm coil you can do with that information what you want but to most smokers just ignore it uh, just know that when you take a puff you're going to get a flavoured vape from it. Now this would last me um, and, I, and I'm going off what we used to tell people back in the vape shops when I worked in the vape shops a 400 milliamp hour battery it, it all depends how heavy you're going at it. If you're 
huffing away in this constantly, then it's, you know, it's possibly it's only going to last you two or three hours. But for a 400 milliamp hour, uh, I would say that you're going to be charging this at least twice a day to get you through an entire day. Uh, it's not the biggest of batteries, um, but uh, yeah, you'll probably have to charge it at least twice to get right through. Uh, the vape from it is... It's been an awfully long time since I've smoked a cigarette. A really long time. Uh, but damn, that takes me back. That filter just feels like a cigarette. To my mouth, it just feels like a cigarette. Uh, it doesn't feel as warm as I remember a cigarette being. The flavour is really good. The flavour's great. The draw is good and it feels like a cigarette. Uh, but it It doesn't quite have as much heat as I remember. That would be one of my niggles with it. But I do know from other pod systems that I've used that it is comparable with them. But it's only 10 watts. That's not a lot of power going through it. But it should be enough for most people that are coming from smoking to e-cigs. Now I'm going to stop with the the basic info or the info that I would give to somebody that was trying to transition and this is, are, are, these are my cons and these are more aimed at people that already know about electronic cigarettes um, who are maybe going to buy these as gifts for people to get them off cigarettes. The filter thing, it's an interesting idea. I understand why they've done it it's not aimed at vapors it's definitely not aimed at people that already vape it's aimed at people that smoke um the thing you have to remember is that when when you smoke a cigarette if you remember back in the day uh, when you smoked a cigarette you know you were pulling away you you would smoke that cigarette and you would stub it out and if you looked at the the filter it would be dirty it would be dirty um, so how many draws did you get out of a cigarette? God, I'm trying to remember. Let's just say 15 draws out of a cigarette. Um, you're going to get an awful lot more going through a tank of juice here. You'll get more than 15 draws going through a tank of juice. So you'll be using this filter for a lot longer to go through that tank of juice. So remember your filters still get dirty. They still get lip gunk on them. It's not going to last as long as, say, a plastic drip tip. They're disposable. They are disposable. And you normally get, I think it's four or five you get on the packet when you first open it up. But, uh, yeah. As good as it is, and I do like it. I kind of like it. Uh, it. And it does feel like, a, it reminds me of a cigarette up here. But... Just remember, they will get dirty like your cigarette filters did. Uh, I'll change it out and I'll actually use the plastic one and just to see what it's like. Feels more open straight away. That's, um, yeah, that, that, that's, I'm just changing that back out straight away. No, it's, th there's not much between them actually. It's just the filter feels more like a cigarette. It's it's all up here in my head. It's weird. It's really weird. Uh, I don't know. I'm I'm, I'm kind of um, flipping a coin here uh, on the the whole filter thing. I think it's an interesting approach. I see why they've gone for it. I just don't know what mileage is in it. Or, but but. I will say, if it's if it reminds me of smoking, the feel in my mouth of smoking, taking a draw on this, then that can't be a bad thing for helping somebody to transition across. It takes the scepter coils, good flavour from them. They seem to last quite a while as well. Uh, and it's 1.2 ohm at 10 watts is the max output. It's, it's an interesting little device. Um, the coils we've seen before, uh, remember the, the pods, you don't dispose of the pods like a lot of electronic cigarettes or pod systems. It's, it's an open system, so you just replace the coil. But uh, I'm going to stop there because I'm whittering on. For you guys that vape already, you know what it is. You've seen all this before.
apart from the filter. For you people that are on cigarettes and looking to come across, this one is well worth a look. The, the filter thing is really interesting. But anyway, uh, thank you so, so much for watching. Thank you to Inakin, and until next time, bye for now.